Welcome to Great Talking Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where I review movies and TV shows from all your favorite superheroes, including Marvel Comics, DC Comics, and much more. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talking Entertainment official channel. Now let's go, baby. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast slash YouTube channel. And as I continue on the new Netflix series, Eric, this is episode three spoiler review. Again, this is a spoiler review. So if you have not seen this yet, pause this, watch it. Or, or here's, a, here's another idea. You can watch episode one and then watch my episode one spoiler review and do the same thing back to back with the other episodes. I give you two choices. You can watch this anyway, but no matter which choice you choose, I just want you guys to know this is a spoiler review. So if you have not seen it, watch it whatever way. But if you do pause it, can you give me a thumbs up and share this? Because this would help my YouTube channel grow, and I definitely appreciate that. So, again, episode three, spoiler review. Y'all been one. Let's get it. Episode 3 shows an intro where we see a kid's book bag. And then the episode shows Cassie, Michael, the detective, and Vincent. And all three have a different perspective view on the same situation. Cassie's version is a matter uh, of her feeling helpless. Hopeless. She, she just can't handle this situation because this is a situation that's just out of her hands. Detective Michael is going to, is basically going by evidence by the book. And Vincent is going by his behavior. And Vincent is representing a person who's just falling apart. Vincent does does get brought up for questioning and then we find out that he wasn't being fully honest to his story which that brought red flags after hearing the imaginary character uh eric he uh vincent yells at him really loud vincent reveals that the argument between him and his son found out that the blood is Vincent's blood on the shirt with this new uh, information and Vincent is staying in the cell a lot longer after further videotapes proves that Vincent is innocent for now so throughout this it was kind of like there it just seemed like Vincent was the one maybe his, cause he was getting, he's, this is part where now he's getting more crazier. He, he's losing his mind. Like he's not really even trying to hide the fact that he's talking to a imagination person. And he, everybody sees it. Like everybody just sees this man just falling apart. And the more anger you see out of him, the more it's, it's starting to believe like, yeah, maybe Vincent did it. And his conscience, that is the imaginary puppet, uh, Eric is, is just out there talking to him. Like, and it's hard to trust him now. So this episode is definitely a episode, uh, a, a thing where you can't really trust Vincent at this moment, but that, this is why what they're doing is, I told you you're gonna see all three different perspective views uh, through di- on the same situation. So, and this is the one that most people, including me, are gonna be more latched to, which is the perspective view of Detective Michael, and the way the detective is finding these evidence, he's putting uh, connecting the dots, and. He also finds out that this could be he, this this case is inspiring him to reopen 
Marion's uh, case, which is a another child, another little boy who went missing. And, you know, you, you see uh, Marlon, that's the name. I apologize. It was Marlon. Marlon, who's a missing boy, his mother shows up to the the station all the time. I'm not going to say every day, but she shows up and she waits and waits because the case is closed and they can't find no other evidence to do it. So it's not closed like a victory. It's just shut down. And this kind of gives him a reason because there is some type of connection between Eager and, and Marlin is missing. And now... This is where, as if you're, as the viewer, as the artist, is where you're more, you're more leans towards believing and trusting as the narrating, because all these questions that he was asking Vincent and to seeing Vincent's uh, behavior changes, and that's that's definitely red flag. And knowing that the 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 the, the one of the parents is lying, and now it's messing up the case. And now while that's all happening, now remember, Vincent had a, a meeting to pitch and he was going to be late. Like they didn't know how he was going to do it, but he, he made it, he made it and he was successful and they did the pitch and they liked it. They loved it and they celebrated and they celebrated hard. Like it it was, it it, it was like, what but that that lead to suspicious for the detective too because in that you know they went out everybody went out to celebrate and Vincent was on some heavy drugs he was very drunk i mean i can't i don't want to say what he was doing but what type of drug but it it was very it was a, it was a drug that's all i can say uh, and, and and the detective again saw that and that leads him to suspicious because he's doing all this work trying to find his son and here he is celebrating and even like the head boss of this show is low key talking to one of Vince's is like good friends who helped start this show right and said you know what we want the puppet but we don't want Vince and we're going to fire him and he's he told him like you can either tell him or I will, and so again we're seeing like Vincent's life about to crumble, and him looking innocent even though he got out of jail and of uh, the the jail cell basically, and but he's still a suspect now and just seeing him do that, he he may have done it because if the drug that he did at the club which I, I'm not gonna say for the the rules of YouTube, but if that was the case, then yeah, the type of drug he did, it probably would lead him to rage to do something stupid like that. And at the end of the episode, another suspect, suspect is teased as a file of Vincent's longtime best friend, Lenny Wilson, which Lenny Wilson is the friend that was talking to like the the boss the president of that show and said hey you, you tell him he's fired or i will lenny lenny wilson's gonna be have to be the one to take that responsibility now but now that we see a file of him where he's being accused of some pedophile stuff so now we're wondering why did he take the the boy? Why why eager all these years as as long as he known him? So that's the good question. Now what I thought about that really is the ending to me. I don't think Vincent did it. Again, I think he's just he's losing his mind because he, he he's so guilty about how how his son is gone, taken away basically. And he he don't he does not know how to handle this very well. I mean, think about it. He came to his mom, and 
every time he was in there, his dad didn't had nothing to do with him. Like him and his dad don't have a great relationship, and his mom either don't have a great relationship with with Vincent. So he may it's not just daddy issues; it's parent issues, mom and dad issues. Like and alcohol and and heavy drugs like that do not mix well with that those type of dark feelings or sad feelings, I should say. And the anger he has, he's got he shows a lot of rage when he outbursts his, his mind like. It, it, that's how he is so and like when when it comes to the detective you can tell that he he wants to do the right thing but if he does the right thing he's gonna get in trouble for it again remember in a few episodes or maybe this episode too that a little well not a, a little bit in this episode I should say the two police officers who are in the narcotics department are in that club, and he really, Detective uh, Michael, does not like them. And he knows they're up to no good. He knows that the have the, the cops in there are corrupted. He knows that everything's just not going right, and he wants to do the right thing, but if he tries to again, they're going to crucify this man, one, because... The, the color of his skin and two he knows that if, if, if people found out that you know he, he wasn't into women and that he, his choice of preference to be with a partner as a male they will they frown on that and this represents the a difficult time in the 80s in, in, in both communities and it represents that and so we're seeing like everybody else wants to find the boy and everybody else wants this this thing to be over with as a as a case is to be closed but the only way they can do that is to be truthful and, and the detective knows that and none nobody nobody's being truthful to that and it, it just gets nuts for this episode of 1 out of 10, I'm going to give it an 8. I thought it was kind of a little slow. This one was a little bit slower. It wasn't really, like, very informational. And I think, like, they focused too much on the side stories and not enough on Vincent and Eager. Like, I feel like the whole thing was more about a more political side of this because again throughout these episodes we're seeing like uh mayors and governors and people who are just in the politician game with a lot of money are dictating how New York is they're they're showing like what's more important versus what is important and a lot of it has to do with like they're focusing a lot on the homeless too. Like something about the homeless community population is a very important key within this series. And I feel like to me it all made sense and it got the point across. But with why I'm giving this an A is the one thing I noticed is when they since they focus so much more on the side stories and forgot to remind the audience a little bit about the main point of this is to find the boy in the sense that this show seemed like this episode seemed more interested on the political side of like watching like the detective struggle but which is fine you should show that but more of like him his job but not enough him trying to do the right thing in the sense of okay this is not it is about the detective too but it's more importantly is the two main characters Vincent and and his son and I thought okay they they should have focused more on that but that's all that's my only complaint about that one but other than that it was great so that's my review thank you guys so much for listening please subscribe to my YouTube channel Great talking entertainment official channel. Subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always be updated with all my latest content. Thank you guys and peace.